And it's time for semi-final number two already. There they come with Olympic dreams in their minds. Who's going to go on and secure the official Olympic quotas this afternoon? Dropping their gear so now we will see Mexico take on Indonesia in the second quarterfinal here in Paris. Ladies and gentlemen, shooting as always, on job number, number one, one is to get through Representing this quarterfinal. On target number two, representing Indonesia, Diananda Shomisa, Titik Kusuma Ramdani, Reza Octavia. The line judge for this matchup is Christina Tiflidou. Well, there you have it. Two. So here we go, the lineup for the second quarterfinal. Mexico line up with world number 56, Ida Roman, the world number 15, Alejandra Valencia, and the world number 36, Ana Vasquez. Indonesia line up with the world number 163, Diamanda Choyunisa, the world number 588, Titik Kusumawardani, and uh, no world ranking, the 20 year old Reza Octavia. So Indonesia versus Mexico, and it'll be the Mexicans to shoot first. First up, it's Alejandra Valencia. Eight, venga. Ida Roman, the most experienced of the Mexican team, shooting in the middle. Drift out into the seven. You can hear the coach communicating with them. And here's the youngster in the team, 20 year old Ana Vasquez. Nine. Just into the nine there, so 24. A little bit of a spread. So Choi Renisa there with a nine to get things underway for Indonesia. Indonesia already looking just a little bit more centered. Kusu Mawadani also in the nine, looking very comfortable. And here is Octavia in the middle. I know it's early doors, Nikki, but uh, a really solid start from uh, Indonesia. Do, can they benefit from the other team shooting first to get an idea of the conditions? Yeah, you sometimes can, um, and they probably won't have watched the match before this as well, but they've all come off that practice field over onto this main field here to see if there's any different conditions, and they'll, they'll adjust their sights for that. So most countries choose, Me Mexico being the highest rank would have chosen to shoot first, um, and that's useful that we go to the tie break at the end, because most archers would rather shoot their arrows first and let their opponent shoot against them. Roman's second ar arrow going right as well as a first so Vasquez up to finish things off for Mexico in this first set and a 49 is the total for Mexico so big opportunity here for Indonesia Eight, 
Eight. So, 44 is their current total chasing after 49. Razor Octavia nine. in to the nine, and it's a cracking start from Indonesia. They take the first two set points. Perhaps a little bit of an upset already on the cards, Nikki. Yeah, you know, I think Mexico are definitely the favourites here. You know, they've got such an experienced team. Arda Roman, silver medalist in London. Uh, Alejandra Valencia, fourth in Rio. And Anna, uh, also a world champion silver medalist. So they're a hell of a team. You know, they're a fantastic team. And they expect, I think, really to be going to this Olympic Games in Tokyo. So does the expectation bring a lot of pressure for them? That, that's the key here, isn't it? So... You know, we would think they're going to win this match, but as I always say, anything can happen. Yeah, underdogs, uh, Indonesia. I mean, they boast a silver medalist from the Asian Games. I mean, all the way back in 2018. Uh, very difficult to gauge form given the fact there've been very few competitions uh, as we've started to return back to archery. So it's very difficult to, to pitch form, but you definitely say that Mexico are the favourite in this, and perhaps the pressure is going to them. Ida and Man shooting two sevens, both going off to the right. Is that uh, an error of uh, technique, or is it, is it an aiming error, do you think? I couldn't see anything, you know, seriously wrong. I think the first arrow um, from Alejandro went left. I, I wonder if... Um, Ida then over aimed off right, so I think she just needs to get herself back into the middle. Well, Mexico find themselves two set points to nil behind as we go into the second. It's back to Alejandra Valencia, the 26 year old world number 15 to shoot first in the second set. She's gone out into the right hand side seven again. It's a really interesting layout. Good shot here. We can see those feather flags behind the targets. I mean, they're very sensitive. They move quite a lot. The archers can see that in their peripheral vision as they're aiming. So but there doesn't seem to be much happening up there. Eight. Uh, you can hear the coach trying to just give yes, Ana Vasquez a pep talk, and it's worked. 25 through the first three arrows for Mexico. That's got out into the seven, Kakusumawa Dani. Quick shot into the nine and a 26. And that, at the halfway stage, puts Indonesia a point ahead. Now, Mexico really have to find their form here. There we go. Alejandro Valencia finding the center of the target for the first time. The eight. Uh, it looks to me like the youngest member of the team here, Ana Vasquez, is sort of making herself a bit of a de facto leader. Congratulating uh, Valencia with her first ten. Talking Roman through her shot and then finishing off with a nine. 
52 set by Mexico. Indonesia on for a 56 here. That takes a bit of pressure off Octavia. Seven to draw level with Mexico in this set. Anything more and they'll be four nil up. It's into the eight. It was just about what they needed. A 53 plays 52. Didn't look like there was anything requiring a measure there. Uh, Nikki, Indonesia, just shooting better. They really are. Yeah, they're, they're on form. They're shooting well. I just thought, you know, Mexico, halfway through, after they shot the first three hours, the body language of the team just looked, they looked defeated. They really did. And, you know, they obviously came back in that second segment, but they've, they've got to really get themselves back into this. You know, where's the laughter, the fun? This is a team we normally see having a bit more of a fun and joke and playing a bit more. So I know this is serious. This is serious stuff, but... You've got to stick with your normal routines, the normal way you, 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 you know, perform as a team. And I'm not sure they've, they've found that balance yet. I think you're right. And it's curious to me that uh, Anna Vasquez, who is the, the youngest member of the team by six years, is the one that sort of, if you like, being the conductor, she seems to be uh, able to have a seems to be a, a, fr a more friendly or, or a certainly more uh, happy conversation between her and her teammates. The other two just seem a little bit tense, uh, Valencia and Roman. Uh, and, they're, and really, they're running out of arrows here. Yeah. I mean, Ida's one of the, you know, sort of comical archers on the, on the tour, really. She's fun. She'll come up to you. She'll have a giggle with you all the time. So she's just under immense pressure. And they've got to get Dal back in here. They've got to win this set. Well, there are the smiles you talked about. And now you can hear Ida Roman talking to Alejandra Valencia, who will kick things off in set number three. Mexico staring down the barrel of gun here. Four set points to nil down. Two quick arrows from uh, Roman and Valencia. Oh, Vasquez a little bit of extra time. And look at that. By far their best shooting at the beginning of a set. A 28. The first set, they got 24 through the first rotation, 25 in the second. Now, this just puts a tiny bit more pressure on Indonesia. Look at what happens when you put a team under pressure. Indonesia has shot 28 and 26 through the first rotation in the first two sets. That was a 25. But Valencia out high left, but communicating immediately with Roman. I think the, the wind just changed slightly there. We saw the feather flags just switching to the left. But as I say, they're quite sensitive. Is that How much information is that giving you? How much do you need to change where you're aiming? Well, communication worked. A 45 there on at the moment. A 
a 10 would put immense pressure on Indonesia. So they were just uh, heard they were just starting to run out of time there. Finish on a 54. Indonesia, well, they can score 55 here with three tens. Now this would be a remarkable finish for Indonesia. There's one. Kusumawa Dani with the pressure on her now. Trying to pull that one up by the looks of things up into the eight, which means this set has got away from them. Razor Octavia will still want to finish with a good score here. She pushes it into the eight for a 51. So Mexico are back in the match. Their first set point still trailing by four set points to two. But Nikki, you called it. There was an air of relaxation and all of a sudden the communication came back on the Mexican side of the shooting line. Yeah, I think it just opened up a little bit for them. They were able to put that good first three arrow segment in, put that bit more pressure on Indonesia. I think, you know, they've just been fairly relaxed with it all so far, and, you know, that really changed the game. But look at the conditions just now. Look at the wind picking up. Those feather flags are starting to move a bit more. You know, this stadium is unpredictable, and there is stormy weather in the air, so things can change quickly, and those archers have really got to communicate well to make sure they're aiming exactly where they need to you know, in accordance with, with what's happening with the wind. And would you say with it, if the wind does pick up as it has done, and if it continues uh, to do so, that it's actually a little bit more in the favour of a more experienced Mexican team? I mean, it can go either way. Sometimes it's really windy, it opens the field. So if we had a perfectly still day, um, you know, the best archers in the world always rise to the top. When the conditions start to change a lot, that's when it really opens up and anything can happen. So I don't know, I think it's going to put a little bit more uncertainty on the match, if I'm honest. Yeah, uh, I think the one thing that we can say for sure is that Mexico have found their rhythm again. They're still in a difficult spot here. They can't afford anything other than a clear win in set number four. Four set points to two down. They need to win this one outright. Can they start as well as they did in set number three? Mm. On the line, I think the coach called it an eight. So 26 for Mexico here. Perhaps wind related. I've talked about the wind picking up. Let's see what the response from Choi Renisa and team will be for Indonesia. All of their arrow holes, if you look at that target face to the left, you know, they've got to communicate that, that as a team. Get those across, get them a bit more centred. They're going to score more points in groups. Okay, from Reza Octavia, and she's put it into the 10 ring. So a one point lead for Indonesia at the halfway stage. Yes. 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 
Valencia in to the center of the target. Two very important arrows now for the Mexican women's recurve team here. Their place at the Tokyo Olympic Games in the balance here. Ida Roman into the center. 46 so far. A 10 from Vasquez. Will put the Indonesians under a bit of pressure here. Oh, a great finish from Mexico. A 56. And you can see the change in atmosphere on that side of the shooting range 57 possible for Indonesia here but they need three tens and that has already put this one away Mexico have staged a remarkable comeback after a nervy start to the match going four set points to nil down they fought their way back and will be all square with Indonesia after our regulation arrows and Nikki, as you said, still drifting off to the left hand side. Yeah, they've, they've just got to get themselves centered up. You know, they've got to use these arrows now to make sure they feel, you know, they know where to aim. They're confident in the shoot off that we're about to have. Well, finishing with a 10, but the set points have gone to Mexico after our four regulation sets. It's four points. Nikki, you love them. Explain them. So we're into a tie break. So each archer is going to shoot one arrow. Okay, we're going to alternate team to team, one arrow at a time. And then if they tie on score, obviously the high score will win. But if we tie on score, it will go to the closest arrow to the middle. And Mexico will shoot first. They will shoot first. They were they shot first. They were the high seed. They chose to shoot first in the, the beginning of this match, so they will shoot first again. And like I said before, that can, can put some pressure on your opponent. You know, get out there, get a good three arrows, and then you know that puts a lot of pressure then on on your opponent. So most people choose to shoot first. Yeah, well, we're looking back at how Mexico staged a remarkable comeback. Indonesia looking very comfortable at four 0 up. But it was three such important arrows from Mexico at the start of the third set that turned this match around. Mexico have leveled things up. The momentum is very much with them. The atmosphere on their side of the shooting line has changed. There is Ida Roman in the middle. Looking back to what we're used to with her, not so much of the tension, a little bit more relaxed, the team smiling and talking to each other. Momentum surely is with Mexico here. Yeah, I think being 4 0 down and then coming back to, to push this to the tie, they've got to have the momentum, they've got to be feeling good about this. It was theirs to lose and they came back. So, you know, I think they've got to have the swing here, but anything can happen. That's what's so exciting. Yeah, and with the changeable conditions, um, I mean, we hope for uh, the fairest way for this to be concluded and there to be consistent wins throughout. But it has been blowy here in Paris this weekend. They're cleaning the target faces, new fresh faces in there in case we go to a measure. But first thing we're looking for is the highest score over three arrows. Mexico will get the shoot off underway win and you're still in the race for the last three olympic spots alejandra valencia will shoot first for mexico a big yell from Ida Roman. Pointing to the right, aim to the right, I think. Ooh, close, but I think that might well be out and in the nine. What can Ida Roman do here? Yeah! 
That's what she could do. Put it into the X ring. Kusumar with Danny here. Needs a 10, I feel. Oh dear. That has gone very wide indeed. And a 16 here. So a 7 from Ana Vasquez, the 20 year old, will put Mexico through to the semi finals. It's three tens, two X's, and Mexico are through to the semi finals. What a comeback from them! Such a nervy start from Roman, Valencia, and Vasquez, but they pulled it all together in the third set. A final arrow from Indonesia. Looks like it's clipped the line. You've got to feel for the Indonesian team who shot so well at the very beginning. Went four set points to nil up against the much fancied Mexicans. But Mexico somehow dug deep, found their fun, found their form, and they started to shoot better in set three. They fought their way back, forced the shoot off, and then a 10xx to take them through to the semi-finals. Tokyo is still in sight for Mexico. Wow, Nikki. <laughs> wow. Uh, brilliant. Uh, second uh, quarter final. Um, it can only get better, I'm sure. <laughs> wow. That was an absolute no nail biter, wasn't it? To, to go 4 0 down, to push it back to 4 all, and then come in there with that tiebreaker with a, an absolute clean sweep of the 30. Wow. We've just seen the energy come back to Mexico. Now they've got to get back to their composure. They've got another match to go. They've got to either win the semi final or if they lose it, they've got to win the bronze. So let's go get composed and come back again and do it again. Yeah, incredible second quarter final here in Paris. This is what this competition is all about. We had a three set of five, one uh, won by a nervy Italian team, you have to say. Uh, pressure perhaps on them in that first quarter final. All the pressure on Mexico in the second quarter final. They battled their nerves through the first two sets, found their energy in sets three and four, and then, well, were startling in the shoot off. So we know Italy and Mexico are through to the semi finals. Two more quarter finals are to come. And next up, it will be the USA against Turkey, uh, two powerhouses in the world of archery. But two fairly young lineups this year round as we take a look back. Ana Vesquez anchoring for Mexico actually looked to be the one that held it all together and brought back that energy and, uh, well, fizz to the, to the Mexican team, Nikki. Yeah, she was playful, wasn't she? You know, when um, there was a beautiful 10 from Alejandra, she, she made a lovely symbol of, wow, what a great 10. And I think that was almost a turning point. You know, they got their energy back, didn't they? And we, we saw what Mexico were about. So they really turned it around. And they've got to maintain that, as I say, through the next match. It's job not done yet. They've got a bit more to do. Yeah, but they'll be riding on the crest of the wave. There's the celebration as they make it through to the semifinals.